Hello friends, welcome to this video. Uh, sorry if the audio isn't great, I'm traveling currently and I, I don't want to have access to any of my things. But yeah, so I'm on vacation, and vacation is about doing what you want, and I just, I really wanted to make this video. Anyway, <laughs> there's this little game called Dungeons and Dragons, not sure if you've heard of it. Uh, that's a joke. Fun fact, I, I didn't really know what Dungeons and Dragons was until I got to college. Like, I knew of it as in, like, a pop culture reference thing, but I didn't really know about it until college when I met uh, one of my really good friends, Maddie, who's a major nerd and grew up playing Dungeons and Dragons all the time. So, basically, ever since college, I've been trying to get into a good Dungeons and Dragons like thing but like it's just never really worked out for me one day it'll happen for me though Pr maybe hopefully <clears throat> anyway as you might expect a game called dungeons and dragons does actually feature some dragons there are like two main classes of D, &D dragons the chromatic dragons and the metallic dragons with the chromatic dragons kind of being on the more evil side and the metallic dragons being on the more good side although like i think there's like some species or like types of dragons that can be kind of like tricksters but they're still good if that makes sense i have a whole book on dungeons and dragons dragons that i got when i was like eight or something just because i was like you know i was the girl who like really loved dragons and my mom would buy me any like educational book about dragons because I, I loved it. And actually, I loved the illustrations in this book so much that it was kind of what got me into drawing dragons in the first place. And that book is called A Practical Guide to Dragons. Now, as an eight-year-old, I had no idea that these were Dungeons and Dragons dragons. I just thought it was just like, sweet, there are these species of dragons, and this is how they live, and this is what their layers look like. It's it's a really cool book. You can get it on Amazon if you want. So today I'm redesigning the gold dragon because it's the dragon I had the most ideas for. I, I would have done the silver dragon, but the silver dragon is my absolute favorite and that was too much pressure. So we're doing gold. I always think of the gold dragons as like the wise, kindly old men of the D&D &D dragons because one main feature of their design is they have these like tentacles on their face that remind me of a beard or Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. And of course, as like a little girl, I'm like, mm, no, that's not a great, <laughs> I just didn't like it because I'm biased, right? So I decided to kind of design a version of the gold dragon that would appeal more to me as a person who's biased against old man beards on their dragons or davy jones beards yeah although i do have to know they're like wise old man beards really represents them as like their type of dragon because this type of dragon tends to be like very wise and good and like the old wizard that helps people and such. Anyway, since gold dragons are supposed to be wise and actually kind of like aloof and superior, I, I kind of got inspired thinking of cats because like if you look into the eyes of a cat, they're, they're judging you and they're wise. So I also wanted to do something that was really different from the original design but still keeping some of those tendrils. So I decided instead of making a beard, I would make whiskers. I also started with my concept for the female dragon. I wanted some sexual dimorphism in this species, I guess. Um, and I wanted to start with a female because I very much associate gold dragons with their beards with being male dragons. And so I'm, you know, I'm like, mm female dragon it is. And I did keep the other main aspect of their design, which is instead of having bat-like wings, they have kind of sail-like wings where their wings don't really have fingers. They're just, they're like fish fins almost or like a stingray. Anyway, this is where I have to say that I, 
I only sort of redesigned them. I mean, they're still gold in color, and they still have their stingray wings. So I, I didn't do a ton of adding. I think for my next one, I'm going to try to go more all out with the design. One thing that's important, in my opinion, about drawing these D&D dragons is the metallic dragons have metallic looking scales. And metal is really hard to paint because it's really easy to think you know what metal looks like. You're like, oh, gold is gold. Gold really isn't gold. Metal is so shiny that you really have to take into account your lighting. The gold is going to reflect other colors because it's so shiny. The colors of the environment. Silver is even worse with this. So, and the other thing is metal has way more like dynamic values. In the end, what I had to do with my drawing was mess with the curves so that my values were more spread out and I had more darker darks and lighter lights because metal is very dynamic in value. Gold is tough too because there's this, there are like oranges in there. There are greens if, if it's like reflecting sky or something. There's a lot of like different colors in gold and that makes it tough to paint in my opinion. In the end, I think I came out with a result that does look pretty metallic, but that's I had to completely change my curves because I made the thing way too light and way more compressed in the values than I should have done. So this is what I ended up with as the final result for my version of a gold dragon from Dungeons & Dragons. Let me know what you think you would do. Um, definitely give me some ideas because I think I didn't push the design enough. So please let me know what you would do. What should I have done? <laughs> um, yeah, and let me know if you want me to do more of these Dungeons and Dragons redesigns. I actually really want to because I feel like I need to redeem myself. So I probably will anyway, but let me know if you would like that. And of course, let me know if you're going to see that new D&D movie that's coming out. Thank you very much for watching this video and listening to me nerd out about this book that I read when I was like eight. <laughs> I, I hope it was enjoyable. Um, that's all I have. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you around.